Human beings have created very attractive technology and devices such as humanoid smartphone or self-driving cars. But yet, we still cannot make a very wonderful functions such as the biological system have in nature. For example, the highly sensitive detection like dog nose, self-healing or self-reproduction in our cellular systems, highly energy efficient motions or processing like in our muscles and brain. So the idea I wanna share with you today is that if we cannot create a whole biological system from scratch by using the current production technologies, why not using the biological materials directly combined with the artificial materials? That is a concept of the biohybrid research we are now working on. For example, very recently, we developed a biohybrid finger, which consists of the uh, tissue engineered living muscles with a 3D printed finger bone-like structures. When we apply the electric stimulation to the muscles, the muscle make a contraction motions so the finger can move back and forth. So this demonstration is very simple to pick up a small object, but the world first demonstrations showing that we can actually use the living muscles as a part of the robotic systems, which achieves the highly energy efficient motions. So that thinking about the biohybrid devices, so we can actually categorize the device into four groups. That is the biohybrid sensors, reactors, actuators, and processors. For the sake of time, I just mentioned about the biohybrid sensors. As a sensors, we are now focusing on using the insect because the insect has a super sensors on its antenna. For example, bees can even detect the addictive drugs and bombs and the mosquito can detect the human beings by detecting the human sweat coming from the skin. So that we would like to use such kind of sensors in the robotic systems. At the practical applications, we are now trying to make the robot to find a human being in natural disasters. Because in Japan, we often have a huge disaster like an earthquake, tsunami, and typhoon, and so on. So finding a human being in disaster as soon as possible is very important technological challenge as you may understand. So we are now focusing using the mosquito because the mosquito has an antenna that can detect the human being, as I mentioned. So what we did is to identify the protein existing in the antenna to find the human beings and purify the protein and put into the small sensors. So once a human order binds to the protein, they make electric signals. And that kind of electric signals go to the mobile robot so that the mobile robot can move. So when we apply the human order to the robot, and the robot can move forward, like in this movie. But as you may understand, we need to develop the robot to find a human being, so that the robot has to move towards the source of the human order. But unfortunately, in this case, the robot actually run away from the human, <laughs> human order. It's completely opposite. So we are now making the source finding algorithm to the robot. It's still on the way. So if you can make a such biohybrid sensors, we can not only detect the human beings, but also we can detect the many kind of uh, chemicals. For example, we can actually detect the addictive drugs, and also we can detect the how say odor of the bombs and so on. But eventually, if we can detect a very tiny chemical from our mouth, I mean the breath, so we can actually detect the disease like a cancer or diabetes which bring us a huge healthcare market, as you may understand. So this is just a story of the biohybrid sensors, but we can actually expand this kind of concept, not only for the sensors, but also the many kind of devices, and eventually we can uh, put into a single system, like a biohybrid robot. But of course, the making the robot is not just a goal, but the, through this work, we can develop the many kind of technologies or devices that achieve the biological functions, which we never achieved so far. So therefore, we believe that thinking biohybrid will change the world much better and convenient, and that uh, finally bring us a super healthy and ecological lifestyle in the society. Thank you very much for your attention.